All the talk about homelessness, drug addiction, and doom loops in San Francisco. There is one popular bright spot, the weekly farmer's market at UN Plaza. And now even that is facing cha uh, changes thanks to the human turmoil in the city. John Ramos has that story. For nearly 40 years, this farmer's market has existed in San Francisco's United Nations Plaza. It began as a solution to a problem of not enough healthy fruits and vegetables in the area. But now it looks like an even bigger problem may be forcing it out. The elegant brick lined beauty of United Nations Plaza has changed in recent years. Now, most days, it has become a gathering place for the homeless and drug addicted. But one day a week, the atmosphere changes thanks to the Sunday farmer's market. Yeah, I mean, this market uh, was, was founded on that principle that this was a food desert. And from day one, we had a line of people in this neighborhood waiting to purchase uh, fresh produce. The presence of so many people discourages the troubled element from congregating, and officials have taken notice. They asked if the market could operate seven days a week, but when that wasn't possible, the city quietly developed a plan to move the farmers out. Instead, the plaza will soon contain a public recreation area, including skateboarding, pickleball and tech ball courts, and ping pong and chess tables. My understanding and what we've been told is that it is a experimental pilot project to try to improve conditions on UN Plaza. Uh, we've been told that if it does not work out, if it proves to be unsuccessful, they'll put the bricks back and we can come right back on the plaza. Um, we have our doubts about that, but that's what we have been told. So what happens to the farmers? They will be moved to the parking lot just across the street from UN Plaza, but they're not happy about it. They say the space, which market customers currently use for parking, is smaller and will not allow the same size vendor tents or space for their work trucks. That would make a difference for Morgan Hill farmer Tony Mello. He just doesn't see the equity in displacing the farmers because of the actions of others. Isn't it normal to leave something that's there, there, and do it? where they want us to go, put their little park or skateboard yeah. thing over there. Customer Ramon Zaniba agrees. He thinks the city is looking for an easy way out rather than dealing with the real problem. Why bring in a, a different element, a skate park and, and so forth? Why not allow this to be as it is and uh, help those that need the help instead of just trying to move them to nowhere? The farmers are asking the public to speak out, but even they realize it's probably a done deal. Demolition of a fountain in the parking lot has already begun, and farmer Ken Fan is trying to keep an open mind about the move. More customer, maybe. Other places come, and maybe we might be more busy, too. Who knows, you know? Yeah. So it could be pro and con, so we'll see. I don't know yet, but uh, for now, we're just going to have to go along and work together. The market's executive director says when they decided not to fight the plan, the city portrayed it as support for it. So he says he will not be attending a public meeting on Monday because he doesn't want to be seen as endorsing a plan that is being forced on them. The executive director says that even if the current farmers can squeeze into the new space, it will eliminate the possibility of growth, and he says that prevents the market from ever fully recovering from the pandemic.